Tom Davis is still the winningest coach in Iowa men's basketball history almost a quarter century after leaving his post in Iowa City. Despite the success, it's his steady hand and his leadership during one of the darkest times in program and state history that truly cemented Dr. Tom's legacy. Iowa's News Now sports anchor Owen Sebring is sitting down with him to talk about that season and what he's doing with his retirement years in this new installment of Iowa Sports Legends. Where are they now? Born in a small town in southwest Wisconsin, Sports have long been part of the DNA of Dr. Tom Davis. Well, I'm a small town kid from Wisconsin, a little town of 400 people. In a small town like that, you play every sport. Of course, there were only two, basketball and baseball, so, <laughs> so I, had, I could play those two. Pretty much knew I was looking at teaching and coaching as a possible career. Davis followed his coaching dream from high schools in Indiana to assistant jobs on the East Coast eventually landing head coaching jobs at Lafayette, Boston College, Stanford, and in 1986, making his way back to the Midwest where athletic director Bump Elliott hired Tom to replace George Raveling as the Hawkeyes head coach. Bump Elliott was the best. He just, uh, you know, I've had some really good athletic directors in my career and um, they helped me a lot. And Bump, you could just sense right away, he's somebody that you'd love to work for. And he and his wife both, took Sherry and I under their wing and, and uh, showed us around and you knew that it would be a good relationship. But now we've got to work ourselves back into the game like we were playing at the end of the first half. Tom Davis led Iowa to the Elite Eight in his first year on the job and saw six NCAA tournament appearances in his first seven seasons. Jumping up in the air. And to but in 1993, Tom Davis had to lead Iowa through one of its darkest moments, the death of Chris Street. He was a very special young guy in addition to being a great athlete. There's no playbook for that, you know. There's, you can take teacher training courses and stuff like that uh, in college in your career, but there's no book that tells you how to handle something as catastrophic as that. So you kind of rely on all the people around you. I was surrounded by a great trainer. Uh, in John Streif, a great team doctor, and Dr. Dave Johnson. They knew what they were talking about, and that's, they knew that off the court as well as on the court. So I, was, I had a real good staff, and that was crucial. To me, um, I think Chris represented the intensity of uh, life, uh, the openness of uh, the Midwest. That season, Davis led Iowa to the second round of the NCAA tournament, something he did with regularity. With the Hawkeyes, Dr. Tom never lost an NCAA first round game, helping the Hawks to nine NCAA tournaments, three Sweet 16s, an Elite Eight, a 13 and nine record in the tournament, and 271 wins, a number that still stands as the most in the history of Iowa basketball. But after a sweet 16 run in 1999 and 13 seasons as a head coach under his belt, Dr. Tom's contract was not renewed by the university. I was just, uh, I wasn't quite ready to give up coaching at the time. That's why when the Drake job, four years later, when I got a phone call from, from a former player, Al Lorenzen actually, who was an assistant to the athletic director at Drake, who called and said, we were thinking about you for the Drake job. Was that something you'd be interested in? And that's kind of how that started. Davis resurrected his career for four seasons at Drake with his son Keno as an assistant. But in 2007, Dr. Tom called it a career on his own terms. I remember suffering through a cold almost every winter. I would get one and I couldn't get rid of it. Um, and I remember my last year at Drake, I just said this, I just, this is just getting too hard to do uh, from a health point of view. So. Um, and then with Keno being there, I thought it was an opportune time. Keno took over for his dad at Drake in 2007, and since then, Tom has spent his retirement in Iowa City in the same home he and his wife Sherry moved into in 1986. Let's see what's up here. Oh. Messy, the so, how does the winningest coach in Iowa basketball history fill his time these days? Well, perhaps in the same fashion that many men of his age would do. Being active is important, and I'm an active, I'm a reader. So I do a lot of reading and uh, I became a walker. I, would, I had never walked much for exercise. I'm a golfer, so I practice almost every day. I practice more than I play, but I love practicing golf. As you get older, you get a little stiffer in the, in the joints and everything, so it gets a little harder to, uh, to get your swing working each year. 
Those joints may not be what they once were when Dr. Tom walked the Iowa sideline, but it sounds as if he and Sherry will continue their presence in Iowa City. We enjoy the people here and uh, everything about it. Owen Sebring, Iowa's News Now Sports. Davis is likely to see that all-time wins record at Iowa broken this upcoming campaign. Fran McCaffrey heading now into his 14th year with the Hawkeyes is just 13 wins shy of Dr. Tom.